Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this video I will show how to tune feedforward gains of a Dynamixel servo. In particular, I'm using the uh, XL330M288T uh, 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 servo together with the open uh, RB100 board as you can see here. Okay, And I'm using Arduino IDE with uh, from that you can see uh, here I will just briefly explain how it works uh, basically I set uh, the torque off so I can set some uh, EEPROM parameters I'm setting the, the operating mode of the servo to position control mode and also setting the drive mode so I can uh, generate a time profile trajectory and in this trajectory I'm setting uh, that the total amount of the trajectory whenever I change uh, the goal of of the position, it will take 1,500 milliseconds to reach that position, and the acceleration time is 200 milliseconds in this case, and then I'm setting the torque on so I can drive the motor. Then I can adjust the PD gains. These are the default values: 400 for the proportional gain, zero for the integral uh, gain and the derivative gain. And also the feedforward gains have a zero value. Okay, in this in the in this program, just for uh, demonstration, I'm setting the servo to uh, this default position, 2048, and then after five seconds, then I send it send the servo to a different position, and then I'm monitoring here, either the present position, the precision trajectory, which is the one generated by the trajectory generator, and the goal position. This is the uh, final position I want to reach. Okay, so let's just first upload this code and see how it works. So it's uploading. Okay, and now it's uploaded. Uh, we can see here in the Arduino plotter the behavior that there's an error between the current position and the trajectory position, the red one. Okay, and the, the task of the feedforward gains is actually to reduce this error. So if we increase, let's say, this value for, let's say, 100, and we uh, upload the code again, we will see the effect of providing a value for the first forward uh, fee forward gain. Slight difference, not really too much. Okay, so we are going to increase a little bit more. Uh, or even more, 400. So if we can see some effect on the first uh, derivative gain of the fee forward gain. Now here we can see an effect that the error has been reduced. Still there's an error, um, particularly here I can see that there is a slow reaction to the uh, change of the uh, of the trajectory, so we're going to increase this a little bit further. Um, we're going to increase this thing here, the second derivative gain, which will provide us uh, with a faster response uh, at those uh, initial uh, moments and also the, the, uh, the final moments of the trajectory. Let's see. There is. Okay, as you can see. There's a small delay, but this is a, this delay is due to the servo, and this is uh, an error due to uh, the sensor. Uh, but we can try to reduce that if we increase the integral term. So let's see if we are able to reduce the integral term. Sorry, the the, the position error by increasing the the, the integral gain. There it is. Okay, as you can see, it's almost perfect tracking. So, thank you very much.